Here are the facts. February 9th, 2021. 55 days after the last patch on December 15th, 2020, Crystal Dynamics released patch 1.4.2 for Marvel's Avengers. It claims Epic, or Purple Gear, will now drop after level 80, and after personally testing this, and many user accounts to the contrary, I can assure you, this is not true. So that was a fucking lie. The patch also changed how Kate Bishop's gear allowed her 4 seconds of ult after blinking, so if you built a class around this specific piece of gear, screw you, your time is over now. Merry late Christmas. You didn't even have to wait for the power level increase to invalidate that piece of gear. Furthermore, the patch removed the ability to complete weekly challenges in the harm room, which is the place that made the most sense to complete your challenges considering the obnoxiously specific nature of many of the challenges. You heard me right. A patch for a five-month-old game with endless issues removed features. And of course, defenders mirror the identical that doesn't affect me sentiment or defeating enemies using a specific attack slash damage type. I've never really done it in that way anyway, so it doesn't actually affect me. Or defeating enemies using a specific attack slash damage type. Uh, I mean, I don't really, I mean, I, I think there's some people that do do this, but I don't really don't do it, so, you know, I really, you know, it is what it is. Or defeating enemies using a specific attack slash damage type. <laughs> I'm not really a massive fan on the harm room, so it really doesn't matter to me. This is extremely dangerous to our democracy. 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 Now, these almost scripted sounded takes from people in some sort of a fight with reality and logic are especially amusing, considering, for comparison, here is the opposing stance that I agree with on Reddit by user Berenius, who writes, Another excuse to remove something so players won't benefit from it just like reducing pattern drops, gear farming, and gear drops. The top post from user Sundere Ban reads, Gotta say, this is probably the one change I'm actually very upset about. This is absolutely a moronic change even with the reason given. I can go entire hours long play sessions and only make a 5% dent in a stupidly specific weekly challenge or 20% on a specific daily challenge. Hell, harm rooms got me through a lot of the individual iconic mission chains. On the rare chance that I get a pretty easy challenge, I usually only get through 80% of it or so after doing various missions and finish it up in the harm room. This will discourage the few players that play daily or very frequently for the challenges. What an interesting point that I intend to reiterate in the fucking future. They should have waited until whatever refocusing efforts they had to make were ready to be implemented or at the very least within a very quick time window like within a week. You don't quit the job that you have while you're thinking about applying for another job. You wait until you've got the new job. I could give you the benefit of the doubt if you were working in their office and updates came out fast and regular, but they're not. And in fact, this has been the first update in 55 days. He goes on to say, they're all working from home and content and patches are severely pushed back because of the distance between the employees. That's not bashing, that's just a fact about the current reality we're living in. How sad it is that he even has to iterate this to make it clear that he's not hating for saying fucking facts, my dude. He goes on to say, this is one of the few times where they say that they have adjusted their process to account for the fact that they're working from home. The time between this change and the refocus being implemented will be too long in between and push the player base away. Y'all want less reasons to play? First of all, fuck the build that you established with Kate, you dumb bitch. Second of all, you try to complete that challenge? Well, actually, we want you to play the game longer, so we're gonna make it take longer for you to complete it. Wait a minute, you, do, you don't wanna play? You don't wanna play? 
You know what it's like? It's like we start a burger place and we trying to catch up to McDonald's and Burger King and we go, hey, what if we charge a million dollars a burger? We could catch up real fast. But did you think that no one would pay a million dollars for a burger? Did that occur to you? Or are you fucking stupid? <laughs> And then a bunch of people jump online and go, well, you know, I think it's a good idea that a million dollar burger is going on. Hmm, I stan million dollar burger. Forgive me. The user concludes his post by saying, I'm sorry, I like the game, and I always try to be mindful of the circumstances that CD have been put in, but this, like the pattern drop rate nerf, is a blatantly anti-consumer move. Anti-consumer is right. And it's the reason that many potential players know to avoid this game like the plague. People are hyped that a wasteland is coming. But what if I told you the game itself was already a wasteland? The same people defending and saying, that's just PC when you splash up the friggin' numbers to this game. Why don't they say, well, that's just your platform when you mention Spider-Man exclusivity? If you can recognize anti-consumer practices here, then why are you blind to them in other places, you fucking hypocrite? Anyone with a brain can assess that the most efficient way to complete these challenges was the harm room. And since most of us have spoken to a woman in our lives, we don't need to be personally affected by something to possess the capacity for empathy. This real life skill is actually really easy to level up. And good news, it'll help you with men too. Because the wise assessment would involve the recognition that even with whatever changes are coming in the future, this is just the latest in a long series of patches made specifically to slow down player progress. And slowing down player progress in so blatant a way that players easily pick up on it is a great way to obliterate the remaining player base. But can I be real about what still amuses me more? It's how out of touch some of these shills are willing to show themselves to be just so what? They can stay on Crystal Dynamics' good side? Now? I understand the name of the game on the internet is selling your integrity for attention, but for Marvel's Avengers? Is this game worth it? I'm not begging for subs, or lying to you, or having you listen to two minutes of ads for a mobile game at the beginning of my fucking video, you know why? Because I respect you enough for you to come to your own conclusions without me needing to coerce you. But what I would like to remind you is with whatever this game sets up in the future, make sure you aren't regarded as just a dollar sign that'll accept whatever you're given because your opinions, your votes, your comments matter. And I'm proud of those of you sharing your opinions all over the place in the interest of making this game better. Because that's what I'm doing regardless of anything any butthurt loser has to say. This game needs to be better and appeal to all types of players if it has a chance of success. So don't be like these people and think things like, well, it doesn't look like me. We've seen that. We've seen enough of this in response to bugs and crashes and glitches going five months back towards the fucking beta. Some of these comments have aged like milk and I could play you a video from four months ago that would seem like I made it today because none of that shit has been changed. Don't believe me? Enemies won't spawn. Buttons to open doors won't go down and your session can stay bugged no matter how many times you reload a checkpoint. 80 years of Marvel content and at launch this game has two villains, Taskmaster and Abomination. Can we fight in Asgard, Latveria, Atlantis, the X-Mansion, Savage Lands? No, none of those places. Skins are mostly palette swaps. Bunch of trench coats for Black Widow, as if you'd want to cover that glorious ass. And different color shirts and pants for Thor and Captain America. Are you the type of person that would use a picture of a location as a nameplate? The developers sure think you are. Enough to waste multiple slots on the challenge cards with them. Somehow, in 2020, this game has emotes, but no emote wheel, so you can only use one emote at a time. But honestly, with emotes like waving, saluting, 
and putting your hands on your hips, you'll wonder what the f I think you get it. Five months ago in September is when I made that video, but I might as well have made it today for the few things that have been fixed in the interim. And just like how the Rudy Tootie Fresh and Fruity dislikes of the Avengers Defense Force can't invalidate the truth, weirdo saying, that didn't affect me, won't make the anti-consumer practices disappear. This isn't just about harm room challenges or pattern drop rates. It's about poor direction and people making excuses, not understanding that you're shoveling dirt onto the grave instead of trying to help this motherfucker up out. Recognize that if some people are having problems, then it affects all of us because the player base suffers and the production suffers. This jeopardizes the potential future of things like this even being considered. Blindly defending or throwing money at a project like this will not save it. Sweeping its flaws under the rug was a tactic you've been fucking around on for five months now, and look where it got you. Rug still lumpy as a bitch. If you pay for a brand new car, and when you started it, all the windows broke and three tires fucking went flat, you could decide that you're only gonna focus on the one tire that's inflated. Let's look at the bright side. But it's not what you paid for. And considering that you can't drive that motherfucker, not in its current state, you couldn't expect other people to, to do anything but laugh at you. And that's what we've been doing, but it's been five months. It's just sad now. Hmm.